Have you all seen the movie The Right Stuff? If you haven't, you gotta you gotta go look it up. Um, Jerry is from that era. I mean, every rocket that went up, they, they weren't sure it was gonna make it. I mean, can you imagine sitting on top of that explosive, hoping it goes in that direction? But they didn't always. You have to watch the movie The Right Stuff, because these guys, this guy right here is one of those people. And for us to have a man like, like Jerry in our community that has done that, he'll walk right by you in a grocery store, out in the street, in the hallway, and you won't know that you're walking by a true hero. There aren't many of them in the world. We hear basketball players are heroes, football players are heroes. This is a hero. And he'll never mention a word about it to you unless you ask him what he did. He's that kind of person. Now, in his course to become an astronaut, he first had to become a United States Marine. Went to USC, huh? Yes. And you, and you grew up in Anaheim? No, it's Santa Ana. Oh, it's Santa Ana? I, I grew up in Anaheim, and they did not name a school after me. So <laughs> I'm going back to them to find out what's going on. And you went to USC, mechanical engineer, aeronautical engineer, and then went to Navy post-grad school. And then after you went to, did you get your doctorate? Yeah, at Princeton. At Princeton, at Princeton. So, I mean, it, he's, he's an absolutely amazing individual. To, again, to chart, to chart that path, though, he had to decide to go in the military. So what he did was he went through the NROTC program. You ever heard of that? You go to college, they have ROTC, you can join ROTC. And if your grades are good enough, they'll even help you pay for college. And then after that, you made a decision. You could have gone in the Navy, probably could have gone in anything, but you decided to go into the Marine Corps. Now, I've got 30 years in the Marine Corps. I have never sold the Marine Corps to anybody because it's, it's a, no, I didn't sell my son. He did on his own. It's, it's a hard life. So why he picked that, I don't know. Uh, but because of that, he makes him an instant brother of mine. You become, a Marine Corps, or you become a Marine, you go out of ROTC, and then you have to go to Quantico, Virginia. Did you go through OCS? Uh, no, OCS? Basic school. Basic school. So then he goes to the basic school. So here's somebody that wants to be a pilot. I don't know if he even had a dream yet to be an astronaut, but he wanted to be a pilot. But instead, he went in the Marine Corps. And what's the Marine Corps do? The first thing they teach you is how to be an infantry officer. So he was there, went to school, basically became what we call an all-around officer with a lot of infantry tactics, while all of his brethren in the other branches of the service, as soon as they pin their bars on him, make him an officer, they go right to flight school. So he's living in the mud, learning how to train, taking infantry classes, and then next he went to flight school down in Pensacola. It's pretty amazing. And I'm sure if you ever get a chance to go to Pensacola, they have a, an unbelievable museum down there that you need to go there and you need to see it. And then all your time in the Marine Corps, um, you know, I've spoken to Marines that I know around the world. In fact, I just saw General Nicholson, three-star general that commanded the Pacific, and I was telling him about you when we had our reunion a couple weeks ago, and he was amazed. So what you have to do is, when you see Jerry, you have to make sure that you, you talk to him, you ask him questions tonight, because there aren't very many people like this. He's, he's a true hero, and he put it on the line, and he did it for us. And I'll tell you what, we're better for people like, because of people like you. Thank you, Colonel Carr. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Colonel Faxon. Um, without further ado, I'm going to bring Jerry up. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about uh, how he got to Skylab. And um, I think that the one thing that was hitting me, that I was, I was trying to formulate right now to make a sentence, which I'm not very good at. This is the 45th anniversary of a launch that he commanded. And we're the ones putting on the party. And, and how lucky we are that it's here. And I told Jerry, we'll do it again in 45 years. We'll get together. We'll do it again. All right. So this is a pretty... We're in, we're in a good room with good people and in a good place tonight, and I'm very excited. And I'm going to let Jerry take it from here. He's going to talk to us, show us some home movies from outer space, more importantly at the end of that, answer questions, and then we're going to cut some cake and have a little party here. So, Colonel Jerry Carr.
Well, thank you, Bill. Al, you pile it pretty deep. <laughs> Not at all. I could have spoke a lot longer, but Bill was given the hook. Well, um, 